exiting president. I don't know. I don't see that as a path to power. What's your story? I am clear that I am keen on this party getting power. I am keen on the ideals it has stood for. If there was a clear path to do that, I'll be the first one to support whatever is a consensus and agreement within this party. But there's no clear path. Ever since 2018, when there was the handshake, there's been a total desecration of this party and the democratic ideals that this nation has stood for. You are seeing an emergence of an autocracy. I can never be part of that. This is an autocracy. Raila Odinga today gets and has the audacity to say that he will continue the projects of Uhuru Kenyatta. Which are these projects? What we know is that those projects have been thwarted with corruption and have hurt us with debt. Tremendously, it has been part of the cost of living that is destroying nearly every citizen in this country. How can he say that that is a legacy, that is a future that we should look forward to? I'm sorry, I do not see Raila Odinga's path to power. He is not a president of these times. This needs a total Itweka, as I said, an Itweka moment, a total change from the shackles of these autocrats, because they're autocrats, especially those two families. They need to get out of the way. Now, fast forward to Saturday. You get to the NDC. You're denied an opportunity to speak. You're denied an opportunity to get into that particular, con uh, that particular room where this meeting will be. What is next for Jimmy Wanjigi? As I said earlier this week, choices have consequences. There are going to be consequences for that happening to me, and there are going to be choices, there are going to be consequences for that happening to ODM and those behind ODM that are doing this to me. I want to assure you that I'll be very clear about those consequences after that so-called happens tomorrow, should it happen. Now, as you heard there from Jimmy Wanjigi, the ODM NDC will take place tomorrow at Kasarani. And the ODM party has made it clear that it is only open to the 3,000 delegates comprising governors, deputy governors, MPs, top branch and county officials and MCAs. And not all life members qualify as delegates. Now, that was just a sample of that interview that uh, Kennedy Mwedi did in his sit-down with 